Details are coming in on the Florida man charged in connection to the pipe bomb scare that rocked the nation. The FBI identifying the suspect as 56-year-old Caesar Sayok. Investigators say his fingerprints and DNA were found in one of the packages, and that led them to South Florida today. Now, all new at 11 News 6's Eric Sandoval spoke with a former business associate of Sayox in Brevard County. So, Eric, what did he have to say? Well, this associate actually lives in Rockledge, guys, and uh, he actually told us that investigators now want to speak to him, and they've asked him not to speak to the media just yet. Authorities say they are taking every precaution with every aspect of this investigation. 56-year-old Cesar Sayak was led from the FBI building in Miramar hours after his arrest in Plantation. He's charged with five federal crimes in connection with a series of explosive devices sent to prominent Democrats and CNN this week. I want to focus for a moment on the amazing work of our folks at the FBI lab. Based on their initial analysis, they uncovered a latent fingerprint from one of the envelopes containing an IED that had been sent to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. Social media shows Sayuk at Trump rallies. In this video, he's seen at a rally in Melbourne last year. The image on his shirt looking much like the decals on the outside of his van, many of them blasting Democrats and CNN. News 6 also found Sayuk has a criminal record. In 2002, he was arrested for threatening to blow up a Florida power and light building if workers cut his power off. Investigators say he told the employee it would be worse than September 11th. Court records show he pleaded guilty and was sentenced to probation. At his mother's home in South Florida, neighbors are left wondering what happened. It's just shocking when something like this happens and you never know sometimes what's going to happen to your children, I guess, or uh, anything that happens anywhere. Now, right now, Sayok is being held in a federal detention center downtown Miami. He is going to stay there until his first appearance before a federal magistrate on Monday morning. After that, he's expected to be transferred to New York to face those five charges against him. Matt, Lisa? Eric, thank you to learn.